Alright, what's good y'all? It's Lucy back with another video. So today I'm gonna break down this sample on the screen right here. Pretty simple loop. It only has like four sounds in it. Uh, I did some cool tricks and stuff with some automations in it. Yes, I'm just gonna recreate the sample down here because I feel like it's easier for you to follow along if I do it down here instead of just going in here and show you how I made each specific pattern. And I started off the melody by going to Analog Lab. I went to my uh, new Indigo Bank right here and I went with the Smile preset which is a key right here and I made this pattern so first I'm gonna play it without any effects and then I'm gonna show you the processing and show you how I made, uh, did the effects and everything to it. So I'm just gonna delete this all first and then uh, make the MIDI from scratch. So basically I start off with the A sharp minor chord like this right here. And then I took the middle note and pitched it up two octaves. And then I took these two and stretched them up for two whole octave uh, for two whole bars like that. That the 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 main catchy thing with this melody was just this descending melody that goes from from here to here. But to add more bounce to the sample, I took the F notes right here and I shorted them like this. And I uh, duplicated them over and I pitched them up a half step like that. And then I dragged them out uh, like this and then I duplicate them over again and pitch them down a half step again. And shorted them like this. And I also moved the A to the side like this. So yeah, after I had that MIDI, uh, I routed it to mixer channel 1. Uh, I started off by adding some EQ, taking out some highs and some of the lows. And I also added a half time and I put the half time to 40% mix. So here's what it sounds like now. I rendered it out to this wave file right here and I pitched it down 400 semitones. And after that, I ran routed it to Mixer Channel 2 and I added a bunch of effects. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the automation clips in a second. Uh, but I start off with Effect Track and I went to the delay section and with, with this preset right here, which is uh, Ambient Echoes. After that, I added an EQ, took out some of the lows uh, from the halftime, and the, I pitched it down 400 semitones, so... And after that, I went to Portal, and I went to the Riot uh, Bank again by Marco Lenz. If you want to cop this bank, I got a link in the description. And I went with the Time Preset, uh, and I'm gonna show you the automation of the dry wet knob in a second. After that, I added some .LP just to add some textures and make the sample sound a little bit older. After that, I added a Crystallizer that I also automated. I went with the Dark Climbing Echo in the Echo Pitch section right here and finally i pitched up the whole sample for semitones so here's the three automation it says the portal the mix knob and the crystallizer also the the mix knob and the echo boy also the mix knob all right so i'm gonna show you what the the sample sounds like after the processing and with the automations right uh, right now all right, so the CPU is not uh, doing good today, so I'm gonna just... Uh, I got the WAV file right here that I rendered out after adding all the effects, so here's what it sounds like. So this is before the effects. And this is after the effects. After that, I routed it to Mixer Channel 4, and yeah, I didn't do anything to it, and added another pattern right here to add more sounds, and I went to Serum this time, Void Serum back, and I went with the Lead Astro, I've been using this a lot in my videos lately, I feel like, but it's a super fire lead, so it's super simple, it's just a C-sharp note hitting at the drop, and then I made this little melody at the end, so here's what it sounds like without any effects on it.
but for the effects I added some EQ, took out some of the harsh high frequencies, some reverb to make it wider and more ambient and finally I added an echo boy that I also automated actually so I'm gonna show you the automation clip for this oh, okay my bad so the echo boy on the original that I just showed you wasn't doing anything I just it was just the portal and the crystallizer and the echo boy is for for this pattern right here so if we look at the midi at the same time while the echo boy is playing there's a delay like one eighth note delay that is only affecting this C sharp and this C sharp and only for like two bars. So I didn't want the, the delay to go through all of the bars. I just wanted it to hit two times and then get silent. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. The serum is not playing for some reason. So I'm just gonna show you the wave file I got from it. So now you can hear how it sounds and pay attention to the echo boy with the delay. So when it's white, it's on and when it's black, it's off. And then it gets completely silent and then go back. Now we got these two playing together like this. And actually for the first section of the loop, I only have one, sam uh, one sound left. So I'm gonna bring back the pattern. And this time I went to Serum again. Uh, I went to this preset right here, which is the bass mystical preset from the Void Serum Bank right here and it's a pretty simple pattern it's just a root note hitting i made a little stab right here at the drop so it kind of gives it a, a weird bounce so instead of like hitting okay i'm not gonna explain it so here's a pattern and i'm gonna play the sample so i rendered it as a wave file and i uh, pick the slice tool right here and I just slice it right here, right here, right here, right here. Uh, just because the tail of the bass was a little long and I just wanted to get completely silent right here and here. Uh, why? I don't know. I just wanted the bass to like get silent in some places to let the sample breathe a little bit and not keep a bass throughout the whole sample. So here's what it sounds like with the chop right here and here. But after a while, after I like had this looping for a while, I got I got tired of hearing this so frequently, so I just deleted that one and I duplicated this one over. You only got a bass note hitting for three times and then for the last part it is this double thing that's going on right here. And when I had this I just duplicated everything over, I deleted the lead for the second part and I added a pattern right here for a new sound. And this time I went to Serum again, I went to the Divinity Pack uh, or the Divinity Bank by Synthetic and I went with the Plux Safari preset and here's what it sounds like. The effects I added was a echo boy, a one fourth note, and some EQ, taking out some of the lows. So here's what it sounds like now. And then I render out a wave file and pitch it up a whole octave, and here's what it sounds like now. And then for the last two sections of the sample, I just took all of this and duplicated it over just to have a section without the bass. Uh, so this is pretty much the whole sample. So after I had this, I just added the stems right here and rendered it out to wave file. So yeah, I'm gonna play with the whole sample right now from start to finish.
all right man so that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed the sample breakdown and hope you learned something new this was a pretty simple sample this time leave a like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video